Hi guys, welcome back to uh, the portion where we import our image planes using Maya 2016. Now, before Maya 2016 to import an image plane, what you would have normally had to do, you would have had to create a polyplane. Increase it out like so. Assign a new material to that. Uh, Maya, go your Lambert, and then you go to your color, and you'll go to File, and you'll go into your images here. Uh, just for the sake of it, we'll just go with this one. Your texture here, there we go. Let's go bring this up. That's how normally you would um, texture for an image plane, something like this. That's, that's the old way, okay? So it's going to get rid of this. The new way, sorry, press the wrong button here. The new way would be is we would go into create and we'll create a free image plane. This is, this is something new, which uh, leaves something like this. And straight away, we can just go into Attribute Editor and select our image name. So we're going to start off with, um, let's see, here, first floor. Uh, click on Open, and we're going to rotate this the uh, the channel box here and we want to rotate this uh, 90 degrees let's go here and we are going to um, symmetry settings Set snap. Go ten. So ninety degrees. And we'll put we'll turn that threshold to five degrees. Get rid of the grid here. Doo, 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 doo. Here we go. I'm just going to scale this up to 10 just so we have a nice uh, plane to work with here. Okay, so let's just see if this is the right orientation. So we are now, because this is the top, what we're going to do is go into image plane attributes and for this one we're going to click display look through camera and we only want this plan to appear in the top, okay? So it's, it's only appeared in the top. So that's the best the best feature of this uh, new my 20 2016 so far so just in case you guys wanted to do that uh, that is there but for me uh, I'm just gonna keep these lined up uh, for now uh, just so we can line these up in the overviews first okay so let's uh, add a 
a new plane. Uh, let's see. Let's see what view. Uh, the Z. So this is the front. So we have the Z this side and the Z this side. So this is the front. So we've got the side entrance here. So we're going to do the same thing again. And so that's our first floor. Uh, so the veranda is over here. And the steps are here and this part's here. So we want the east front open. I'm going to change the attributes again. Um, let's select the image and scale 10. Okay. And we're just going to move this up. Excuse me, I need to go in uh let my notes in a sec. So just gonna make sure that this is all lined up. Signed up, okay. Okay, so I'm going to make sure this is a uh, actual level. So we're going to come to the steps here. Trying to find a good a good reference point to uh, I think we'll just line it up with around here. First floor. Around about here, okay. So we're just gonna look, take a little bit of a tweaking to get it right. I want to make sure that um, this is the basement level, okay, which is uh, really don't want to do. Okay, so that's a basement floor. So, and where's the first floor? We have the first floor over here. So. We're going to bring that up to right about there. Okay. And we're going to try and be a little bit more precise here. There we go. That will do. Bring that back. 
You notice on this plan here we have the uh, second floor, our first floor and the ceiling up here. So between the first floor and the second floor is 10.6 foot and from the first floor to the basement is 8.5 foot. Okay, so we'll, we'll tackle all those um, when we come to it. So we're going to create, I'm going to quick save that, create a image plane and we are going to uh, let's import this side okay so we want the the rear so we have the East front, the west, and the west is this one. Okay, so open. So we're going to rotate this 90 degrees, and we're going to select this. Sorry about that, just had to uh, a little bit of chasing around with the wife and the baby there. Ooh. Getting old, getting old. So, uh, where was I? Okay, scale. So, see, our views here, the side. So let's tackle this. Uh, so I think the best way to tackle this would be to Okay, so that is the let's see here. Let's see here. We have the wrong one. Um, East front. Okay, we want the the rear and the south front. There we go. That appears to be correct. So the first floor is second floor. So what we're going to do is we are going to bring this up to the to the marker here. So uh, let's 
got to nine. Going to line up so it's just a little bit of tweaking going on here. I think if we first line up these two pillars, and we'll, we'll see we'll see what we're dealing with. Okay, so we're going to bring this back. And we're going to try and match up this area here. going to match up this area here okay that appears to be uh, okay so it's going to turn off the grid here I'm going to bring that over to there so we want to make sure that this is lined up with this. Um, so I think the best way to uh, do that is to create a poly plane, bring it up. I'm going to increase this and just bring it up to the uh, translate Y up to the roof there and bring it up to the top of there ok so we're going to line up with this big the big uh, chimney here So this one needs to come down just a touch. Okay. And I want to make sure that this one is still in line. So we we are on a marker here. So this is a basement. So if that's the second floor. So we're going to bring this one down to match the second floor marker down here. So we translate why still selected. I'm going to make a mouse click and just place it here. And yeah, we're pretty much pretty much on the mark there. Okay, so. Uh, So these steps here are these steps down here. Okay, so we can get rid of this. And pretty much lined up to the best that we can with hand drawn images there, okay? Stop. Okay, so I am going to going to going to I'm going going to bring this over here so when we look down the the front view here and it's that view and this is the side view Okay, 
so we are going to add another um, image plane and so that was the south front and we want the east front so front, let's see what's over here west, so front east front <coughs> uh, rear that's the one that we want uh, yeah, okay so we are So this is the front of the house, and the rear is at the back. So I'm going to select and do what I did before, and we are going to rotate. Um, let's see, ninety degrees. That would be so we've got steps here, and I believe those steps are these steps here, and then uh, this part here is this part here. So we want to rotate this 90 degrees. Just want to make sure that it's lined up. So I'm just going to change the the alpha gain on here, just so it's invisible for a second. Um, select this one and. down to the first floor uh, bring this across to there make sure that lines up that lines up and then we're going to bring this back down and that lines up around here it's just a little bit off but like I said they are they are um, hand drawn so we'll take these with a pinch of salt So we just have to just take a happy medium okay and we are gonna have to make sure that these are um, so I'll take the into one here and we shall increase it and translate y bring it down so just a little bit off there I'm gonna make sure that our first floor matches Make sure our roofs match. Okay, that's pretty much what we are going to be have to deal with. But as it stands, it looks uh, pretty good right now. 
So I'm going back to this um, image here and bring the alpha back up. I'm going to save. Let's go down. Grab these. Uh, create image floor. Second floor, second floor, second floor. Select that bad boy. There we go. Um, scale it. Let's rotate ninety degrees. alpha here. Go into my top view. And just seeing if these line up pretty well. That's not all bad. There's a bit of discrepancy here, but of course, uh, you are scanning a page, so things are going to be a bit off. So uh, we'll tackle that. No big deal. And so we are just going to line this up with the second floor here. here so our front side here is uh, I'm going to suggest that this is the steps down here the verandas over here and then Okay, so this side here, um, this is the front when we're looking down this way, so you want to be able to check to see if this lines up with the with the rear. Um, so I'm going to bring this up to the second floor, and then I'm going to create a new um, panels, uh, orthographic, new, and if this is the uh, front, this would be the back. And we'll see this. So, back we want the. So, delete that camera, and what we want is the. New left. So I want to be able to see this one. So, create one there. 
So we just need to uh, modify a couple of things here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete one of these, uh, this camera here. Because in our left one, uh, our camera is here. Okay. So we have our Y, X and Z. So Y, X and Z. And our front is there so our rear is here so our camera our front needs to be picturing the front here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this camera here and I'm just going to bring this image across here and this one across here okay So when we're dealing with the uh, this rear end here, okay, our camera is going to be facing this way. So we just need to do a some modifications here. So if we have our top view, so our side here is over here, so we want this to come across here and this one to come across there, okay? And we have our front here, but that's fine, that can stay there. So I'm just trying to decide which is best uh, to, especially for tackling this type of uh, model. What I'm trying to get is that when I want to model this side of the house and I go into the side view, I want to be able to see this image plane. So I forget this image plane was, was out of the question. So to model this side, I go into the side view and I see this image plane here, which allows me to model this side of the house. So when we decide to come and model this side, our image plane is blocked out. So what we're going to have to do is to see this image plane for the side view here we have to create a new orthographic camera so because this is side we want the so we want the left hand side so we'll delete that we'll go back into here uh, panels orthographic new and we want left So what we're going to do is we're just going to place this in front of this camera. Okay, so when it comes to actually um, modeling this back portion here, we now have a camera to view on this plan here. So if this camera wasn't here, we'll just be seeing uh, the plan as it was over here. Okay, so um, hope I describe that um, intuitively, um, hopefully. Um, so with that said, now that I'm looking down this this way, we can line up our plan here. So our second floor marks around about here. Around about here we have our second floor marker. So now we're going to go back to 
our um, side and they pretty much match spot on because we have our second floor marker here and we're going to go into our east front and we have our second floor marker there okay so I'm beginning to wonder if we so let's create another um, image plane because I think I have one left to add and I'm going to so what's this one is the east front so we're going to add, add the east front uh, south front plus this one the west Side front, second floor, the fixed, fixed. Um, I don't think I actually done this in um, Photoshop. I might have to go back and just fix this. Um, but let's see if we actually match it up pretty well. Um, okay, so I'm just going to bring this up. Yeah, I don't think I've done any uh, any resizing of this one. But uh, time will tell. So... So we need to rotate this. One eighty, and let's bring this and resize. Um, I think I did resize. I don't think I forgot to save it. And we're just trying to match. I was on the second floor. <laughs> so I'm just going to um, bring the alpha down on this one. And then select this one again. And let's bring this down to the first floor marker, which is over here. going to bring this in let me just place this uh, further back we're going to try and line up these up it's a bit Okay, so that appears to be okay. Um, and bring this across here. I just want to make sure that um, these are lined up. So I'm going to bring these in, create a test. Um, 
and we're going to use the the big So we need a camera um, here, so we're going to create, um, so that's the front, so we want back, uh, create new back, and we'll just bring that in, making sure that this lines up. some test sheets again um, so here's our second floor and we want to um, front Second floor, second floor, um, back, uh, second floor is up here, so um, yeah, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to have to um, take in this lesson here and what I'm going to have to do is um, I forgot to resize this in Photoshop um, so I'm just going to delete this one I want to keep the cameras as they are okay uh, this one the change the alpha back so these all line up correctly okay so what I'm going to do, um, I'll upload this lesson and then I'll do a quick appendix lesson about 3, 4, 5 minutes and just importing the other one. So I will just be uh, right back, um, follow along in this lesson and I'll see you guys shortly.